and as far as everyone else knew, he was coming home in a few weeks. After some careful planning and with a pre-taped holiday greeting from Afghanistan sent to the church, he decided to make his return just in time for the holidays. A lot of anticipation, uh, you know, even more so than our wedding day. Uh, you know, the butterflies were there and, and just knowing how happy this was going to make them and trying to keep this surprise bottled up for, for a couple of months. He arrived home the night before so he could beat the weather and ensure his plan's success. Once I saw that video, I heard like footsteps of my dad coming. And right when I turned around, I saw him and I yelled, Dad. She's uh, not a big fan of surprises, so uh, we had to keep it under wraps. But, uh, you know, all the, all the friends that were involved were uh, happy to do that. It was a lot of fun. In the wake of all this happiness, they all know what kind of sacrifice each military family is making. I feel very fortunate because there's a lot of families out there that still have their loved ones over in Afghanistan or other parts of the country. Watching and listening to Stacy and you know she's trying to run back and forth and get you know get them to practices and in all the school events and and uh, you know basically be a single mom while I'm away. All the Stengrim family wanted was to be together again and now they all get exactly what they wanted for Christmas. I just want to be with them, do some fun things, father and son stuff, and be with him, care about him, and he's my best, best dad that I ever had. And